Hello YouTubers, I've been enjoying many of your uh, videos on the tips for motorhome. We bought this one about a month ago and it's the number 7 RV that I've owned and I like to pay back the community by sharing some tips that I have adopted. The first one is a number one tip and it has to do with putting water in. When you put water in to refuel, rewater your tanks, uh, it wants to gurgle and splash back and go unless you turn it real slow. Well, if you're at a dump site and there starts to be two and three and five motorhomes behind you wanting to get there and your water's trickling in there, you finally have to leave and you don't have that much. And also, if you uh, want to water up at a truck stop, they got lots of pressure there and in, in the you just usually ask them, can I get some water? And they'll say, yeah. But you're going to be sitting out there for two hours. So you hook up to their faucet. And this water hose runs down into the tank. So all the water goes into the tank. And then, of course, air can come around it and through the little air hole here. And you can fill up a 70-gallon tank in 10 or 15 minutes. If you were trying to fill it up, you'd be there two hours with the water gurgling back and everything. Um, and so then just leave it in there. Um, here's another thing you need to know about this if you don't already. The cap doesn't cover the air hole. So in the summer, if dirt daubers get up in there, they'll stop it up. And even if you wash the water out, sometimes there's a little dirt dauber cocoon. Uh, and uh, it'll get down in there and block the air where the air can't come out. So all the air would have to come out here. And if you put water up here, and air's got to come back out there. So cover that, stick a pencil in it, or put some tape over it in the summer, or when, especially when you, you're going to be parked it for a while. Uh, let me show you something about this. Let's stay there. To, to get the hose in there, of course, you need a hose that um, has the female on one end. But then when you want to put the hose in, it's not going to want to go because there's a... a fitting down there that the, this part goes on to and this other part goes in the tank but you can't get the hose through there so the trick i used is to cut the, the hose on the end that's going in at an angle like that and then put put it in some warm water and usually it'll go right in there like that and then you can feed it on down in there so that's my number one tip uh number two tip or the next one is reflective tape can't see it that much in the daylight but at night you can see it and it really helps people especially if people following you that are on a cell phone or been drinking or something that, that they can judge the distance and they can see that at night on the reflection it just goes across here uh, as far as you can see the head the tail lights and I even put a little bit on my door where I can grab the handle instead of grabbing the screen so uh, let's go around here and look at this My next tip is lots of batteries. I'm using four deep cycles right now. I usually always have at least two. And because I, I don't plug in that often to run a generator that much. And you get one of these little things to show you what percentage of battery is if you want to look in here. They're about $4 from China. I like to have them even though, well, if you plug in um, like a USB or some kind of plug that goes in your cigarette lighter it, it that shows also shows the the um, voltage that's just your engine motor which is not really connected to, to your chassis uh, motorhome batteries so get lots of batteries you can stay out a long time the next thing we want to do lead the way I've never had an RV with a comfortable bed, so the first thing I do is throw them out and get a good bed from that goes in the house. So RV beds are more narrow, and unless you spend a whole lot. <laughs> so when I replaced the RV bed and put the bigger one in, that I had another, another motor home, I had to bigger, build a bigger foundation. And I built it so that this little cheesy plastic thing 
would fit in a corner and it it's only fourteen dollars but it has locks so it won't come open until you open the lock like that so you don't have to worry about shifting and then i left the sides open so i can put these large uh, totes in there and store lots of stuff under the bed but have easy access to them a couple of those you get them after christmas and they're half price also you might notice lights automatically come on in the corners you can buy buy those on ebay for a few bucks and anywhere at night i want to go lights are coming on there's one on that side so no matter who gets up there's also one in the bathroom the ones on the floor stay on longer these stay only on on about 15 seconds probably ain't gonna come on because it's not dark enough and while we're looking at it right here this is a tip for your toilet this uh, foam if you spray it on the toilet before you use it it'll be a lot easier to keep it clean uh, while we're in the bathroom i'm just missing these bathroom some motorhomes like this will have a skylight but if the top part gets cracked or broken due to the uv rays and so forth there's one underneath that was under here that you can't tell it's broken it looks up and the inside one's good but the outside one will, will drain water and it'll hit the one inside and then go all in in into the uh, motorhome so you have to check those from the top you can't see them like you can the rest of the little pop-up vents and another thing this one had a glass shower in it and i hate it. it kept hitting my elbows and it's always rattling so i just put up curtains and i like that shower much better go back toward the bedroom thank my assistant miss marcia these doors like to come open even though they have these latches can you see these latches here so i added a, a magnet to the doors and got them adjusted and, and that keeps the door from coming open because you drive down the road it comes open you don't want to have to stop and close it or it'll just flop around until you can get stopped but adding that magnet made it harder to, it won't just come open also did the same thing here with this drawer it has pots and pans it wanted to come open so most motorhomes don't have enough uh, uh, recharging stations for cell phones computers and so forth so what i did is i took one of these uh, clips here you can buy that to connect cigarette lighter straight to a battery for like air compressor and things like that and i cut these off and put some small ones on it then i went under the seat to where the fuse box is and there's usually blank spots for the fuses it's right over in there i doubt you can see it unless the lights are. so i go inside you can get back up uh, and drill a hole one inch hole and this will fit right in it just snug and tight and clip these one to the back of the fuse panel and that gives power and then i could put something like a multiplier on it and you can see now it's hot and the best the good thing about doing that is you're going through the fuse box so you pick a spot these are usually extra slots that you don't have a fuse hook into it with your red hot one and uh, put the fuse in and if something overloads out here it will blow the fuse all right that's my secret on that and uh my tip is this this is electronic pest chaser it gets it keeps mice out i've never seen a motorhome that had, didn't have eventually have some mice getting in it and mice will chew wires and cause problems that you just nobody can find out how to fix it once the wires are all chewed up inside a vehicle so that can just clip on where these where these were clipped on actually uh yeah they can just they can just piggyback on each other and that would run this through the fuse and it just makes a little clicking sound that you know you don't even hear let's see what was next oh i checked my list that's the usb oh here's another tip too i i love some noise canceling headphones they make it quieter and if i want to listen to some skinner and marshall wants to read listen to a book then we can do our thing but they cut out the noise a lot and with bluetooth i mean you're free to walk anywhere and i just love them they have a good pair of headphones is good um i guess that's oh yeah everybody in all the videos i've seen talk about storage just keep backing up so i took the panel out right here and we can put our water and heavier things in there set on the floor and get access to them um 
these shelves in here aren't strong enough to hold a whole lot of water, you know, even in that area. And also, you you know, might could you put dirty clothes under there or something like that, but you get access to it. And then I did the same thing with the sofa here. It was a front panel on it. I took it off. Stand over here, please. And now I've got a lot of storage that I can access quickly and easily, especially my tools. I want to work on something that, and put shoes on and things like that. And since I have this cover on the couch, you don't know what's behind there anyway. Here's a nice little gadget I just picked up for the fun of it. You put your foot around your neck and put your cell phone on it. And you sit there and watch it hands-free. You know, your arms get tired when you're playing Tetris too long. Uh, was there anything else? Oh, this is great. It's just a simple little clip, uh, visor clip-on mirror, and it'll let me see if I made a cup of coffee and left it on the counter and pull it out, and I don't want the coffee cup to fall off, spill the coffee all over the floor and all that. So I can take a quick, take a quick glance through the back and see if anything I overlooked. So also, it's very important. Well, when we start out, unless we just stop a little bit for food or gas or something, she walks around the motorhome in one direction looking for everything uh, is clear, and I walk around the other direction making sure everything's clear. And, you know, you, you make sure the step is up because you, you don't uh, step to hit something and break off. Well, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy. Goodbye.